in my videos, I like to talk about myself because if you knew what I've been through, I mean how I was in the past, and if you knew how I am now, it is a huge change, I think. So if I can change this far by the help of Jesus Christ, I believe you can change as well. Because back in the past, depending where in the past, I was not like this. I don't think I was ever like this. So anyways, um, let me get to my message. A while back, I was doing something and I guess sometimes when you are in public, you may hear some things you don't want to hear. Someone was playing some type of music and it was the Isley Brothers. And back in my past, I used to be very, very huge in music, very huge in R&B, love, and all that type of music. I used to be so big in it, and that person was playing a song. I used to play so much in my past. I used to like listening to the Isley Brothers so much. And believe it or not, this was probably weeks ago, maybe one, almost two weeks ago. I would say almost every day that song comes to my mind. Like there were times when I would pray and that song would come to my mind. I believe there were, yeah, I believe so. I believe there were times when I am singing to God or singing songs about God, perhaps Christian songs, in my mind. And I believe there are times when that song comes to my mind, that Isley Brothers song. Look now. And I was not, I don't believe I was interested to even hear that song. Please listen to what I am saying. Now, that song was probably playing for maybe five minutes six minutes I don't know but for six minutes that song has been coming to my mind for perhaps over a week okay what if you are listening to bad music on purpose I am a Christian I am a person that has a heart toward God. I want to do what is right. I have no interest in listening to that type of music anymore. But still, I had to battle, yes, I had to battle some against that song coming to my mind. And I believe it still comes to my mind. What if you want to listen to bad music? 
What if you want to listen to music about sex and drugs and money and all this worldly stuff? Look now. When you go to church, or if you go to church, or if you listen to teachings about God on YouTube, what is a person doing when they are teaching you? They are telling you, well, they should be telling you about Jesus, how to change your life, stuff that will change you, right? So it will be a message if you take hold on to it, I think it is going to change you. Okay, what about these rap artists or these music artists speaking about sinful stuff? Aren't they ministering to you as well? Aren't they giving you their philosophy, if I am using that word correctly, about how to conduct yourself in life? So how is what they are saying different than what teachers of God are saying? I believe they are both ministering to you. Kevin, I don't know why I continue to go back to sin. I believe I know why. What are you listening to? What are you looking at? What, how are your friends? If you have any friends, do they want to serve God or are they influencing you to sin? I just told you, I listened to, to a song that I did not want to listen to and I still battle against it. Like, why would that song come to my mind when I prayed more than one time? I believe it came to my mind on more than one occasion when I tried praying. What is that? You have to ask yourself, look, it is, I believe, it was against my will to listen to that song. But yet, it still comes to my mind. Words have power, right? I believe music has power. While you are listening to that foul, filthy music, telling you what to do to a woman, telling women what to do to a man. I believe if you take hold on to that, you are going to have a hard time. I believe so. So stay away from foul, filthy stuff. I believe it is going to have an influence upon you. Kevin, I like the beat, so I am not listening to the words. I am listening to the beat. Don't fool yourself. How can you listen to the beat while there are words? Even if there were no words, still don't listen to the beat. Please listen to what I am saying. If you are listening and looking at foul and filthy stuff, being around friends or family members who speak in a foul and filthy way, what do you believe is going to happen to you if you aren't careful? I believe you are going to turn the same way, hence, probably, you are having a hard time in trying to live for God. Myself, I believe God sends some people my way that may be in sin to where in some type of way I may need to help. 
But if you are having trouble living for God on your own, look now, stay away from people and stuff like that. My mind is constantly on the things of God, constantly. Like, <laughs> I would probably say, if it is not wrong to say this, I am obsessed with God. Obsessed, if that is not bad to say. Look now. Stop listening to that fop. Man, where was I? Sometimes I go out and while I am driving or walking or whatever, sometimes, you know, I, I may pass by or a car may pass by me playing rap music. Like, I think much of rap music is... What word can I say without saying the wrong thing i think most rap music is juvenile i think it is catered for i don't want to insult i think how can i say this in a nice way i believe rap music at least i believe much of it is senseless type of music. I think it is, it's made for people who may not want to think too much about what they are listening to. Like it doesn't really stimulate any educational, if you understand what I am trying to say, like that music, or probably I should say much of it, like, what good is it? I believe that type of music is swaying you, guiding you to the pit of hell. Because if you listen to it, like, what are you talking about? Okay, you are talking about sex, probably. You are probably talking about sex and, and, and how fly you are, how sharp you are how much money you have, and there are haters out. Like, senseless type of music. Like, senseless. And if, you know, I used to be very large in rap myself, but like, what type of person are you to even enjoy music like that? When I used to like it, I was a foul person. I was a foul and filthy person, spiritually, and probably physically as well. So if you are into that type of music, especially how rap is now, much of rap, perhaps I should say, like, what type of character do you have to be able to be attracted to that type of... I dislike rap. Like, if you listen to it, and sometimes, you know, like, I overhear it, or, you know, I, I believe there are times, were times, I guess, where I would listen to what it is saying, you know, to check out what what it is trying to say i think it is silly type of stuff silly immature like low iq type of stuff like how can i say it like a primal animal instinct type you know if you understand what i am trying to say like some caveman stuff But you listen to that and wonder why, Kevin, I am having masturbation problems. Of course you will. <laughs> yes. If what you are listening to is sex, 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 of course you're going to have masturbation problems. Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? 
be careful of what you listen to. I don't like hearing curse words. I don't like being around people who curse, but with me trying to help people, I may overhear some people cursing and stuff like that. So what can I do? I don't want anything to distract me or take me off the path to God. Entertaining mess like that, I think it is going to be a hindrance to you. Especially if you don't have, especially if you have not really sacrificed much for Jesus Christ, which I believe. So if a song, hearing, overhearing a song, I believe it was of the devil. I was trying to do some stuff and get out the way. I believe it was of the devil. But if listening to a song can stay in my mind for over a week, like what do you believe it is going to do if you are constantly for hours on end listening to foul and filthy music or please listen, this stuff, look, living for Jesus Christ is a lifestyle. It is not a hobby like a side hobby. You know, some people may so, you know, maybe after work to unwind, they may sew or knit or whatever. Some people may play basketball or go wake train or whatever. This is not a side hobby. This is an ongoing thing you should be in every day, all day. We have to be careful of what we watch and listen to. I sometimes, I get comments, Kevin, I am having trouble with this and with that. And I think almost every time they are watching or listening to stuff they should not. I mainly listen to, I don't look at like these worldly movies and stuff like that. Like these fighting, shooting movies. I don't look at that. I may go over someone's house and they may have that playing, but I don't like go on the internet looking for that. No, stuff can affect you. Kevin, I am strong and, you know, nothing can influence me because I am strong minded. Look now, you can think of yourself any way you want to, but I believe every one of us are easy to influence in some type of way, especially when it comes down to what we watch and listen to. That's one of the reasons I don't go over everyone's house. I don't befriend, if I am saying that right, I don't befriend everyone. I don't speak over the phone with everyone. Why? I have to guard myself. I can't trust everyone, can I? I don't think everyone's intentions are pure, are they? So don't, don't I have to be se selective a bit on who I involve myself with in my life? I believe so. So let me stop here. God bless you.